Dip, 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 dip. Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Sensei. Uh, your three o'clock called. Uh, he said that he's not going to be able to come in today, but he did leave you a voicemail that he'd like you to listen to. Three o'clock. Uh, oh, the Doom. I mean, Doom. What's his name? Doom. Doom guy. The Doom guy. What kind of dumbass name is that? Yes, sir. I, I think that was his name. Uh, I think he goes by Doom Slayer now. I think he wanted me to tell you that. I, I don't really know what that means. But anyways, uh, I, you want me to send the voicemail through? Yeah, go ahead, man. Let me hear that. All right, man. I ain't going to lie. I was supposed to come to that therapy session today, but I was like, man, fuck that. Go State Celtics game is on. I got to stay home for this. But man, I made a lot of rash decisions in my life. You feel me? One of them, you feel me, was joining the Marines. Like, why did I join the Marines? What did I think I was going to get a charger? Like, anyways, man, it's a lot to this story, man. A story of anger, guns, blasting all types of demons, devils, spirits, ghouls, you name it. I done shot them, nigga, bro. This is a lot of PTSD, man. My girl just left me too on top of that, but that's for a whole another counselor, I think. Anyways, it's a long story. I'm gonna be tight if this voicemail cut me off. All right, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, man. That therapy session that I had with this dude after he sent that voicemail was insane. I mean, the shit that he told me, whew, I'm gonna be turning into a doom guy soon, yo, because all I've been seeing is doom. This nigga is a fucking demon, bro. When we talk about angry video game characters, the first two you think of is Kratos and Ashura. I ain't gonna lie, this nigga is really the ghost, but this nigga... Nah, this nigga been fighting demons his whole life. Bro, you know when demons are scared of you, you are a demon. That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Speaking of video game characters, I've been seeing a lot of y'all ask for the Devil May Cry video. Don't worry. I'm working on that. But since we talking about angry characters, I'm going to put a light goal up for a character that's real fucking angry. So if this video gets to 15,000 likes, I ain't going to lie. We got to talk about that nigga Akuma. It's only right. All right, so our story starts off with the human race, Earth's most mightiest warriors. And by warriors, I mean they're destroying our planet with pollution and capitalism. A anyways, I I'm not trying to get political here. The human race in this story is far, far more advanced than regular ass humans. I think the story starts off in like 2010 or some shit. First off, I know the game was made in the 90s and all that, but God damn, what did y'all think we were going to be doing in 2010? They thought we were going to have interdimensional travel. Like, what did y'all think we were going to have flying DeLoreans in 2010? Like, God damn. So the human race has conquered space travel at this point, and they wanted to try to conquer interdimensional space travel. Now, our guy Doom guy around this time starts off as a low level Marine. And I'm talking about low level, fighter level, bro. He came in, but he was a solid. I'm not going to lie. The problem was, he was a nigga that wasn't going to let nobody tell him what to do. And one day, his boss asked him to kill some innocent civilians. And instead of doing it like most yes men would, most bootlicking ass niggas would, he was like, You want me to kill innocent civilians? Well, how about I kill you, bitch ass nigga? Then he started beating that shit out of his balls. Bro, this nigga is swoked as hell. When I first saw this dude in the Doom Guy original game, I was like, okay, I know the art can't be too crazy on these 2D renders, but why does this nigga got muscles on his muscles? Nigga out here looking like a Baki character. So after he beats up his boss in this fucked up situation, this man gets sent to Mars. Now on Mars, there are two moons, Phobos and Deimos. Now I ain't gonna lie, nigga, why do we need to have two moons here? I don't know if that's just how space works, and I have no idea if Mars really has two moons or not, but I'm just gonna go whatever they say. I know it's just a video game and it's not NASA, but shit, these niggas gotta know something. But there's a lot of trouble going on here because there's some niggas that are coming from the Mars base to Phobos and Deimos, but they're either not coming back at all or they're coming back out of the fucking mine. And one day Phobos calls into the base, bro. And I know normally most creators will give y'all the boring ass explanation of what happened, but you know I gotta hit you with the hood translation. These niggas was like, ring, 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 ring. Yo, 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 f all that yo shit. Yo, yo, first off, gang, 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 you know what it is, coming straight off Phobos, you feel me? Nah, but, but fuck all that shit. Bro, it's crazy over here, nigga. Niggas is getting mad wicked, I am not playing. Bro, it's hella demons over here, nigga. I swear to God, I ain't really no biblical nigga or nothing like that. But yo, please send help. Some holy water or priest, something. These niggas is going crazy. Oh my God. And the next thing you know, all you heard was a goddamn click, bro. It was hella demons over there eating these niggas. 
Apparently, because of this interdimensional travel, these niggas have opened a portal to hell. How the hell did y'all do? Get it, bars? <laughs> How the hell did y'all? Come on, man. I'm just saying. Bro, I'm not going to lie, though. When my nigga pulled up the Fobo, she was putting in pain on these demons, son. There's all types of demons in this bitch. We got the pink charge demons, these specters, which is like invisible versions of them. How you going to have pink, nasty, blob-ass joints? And then you got invisible versions of them. You're just walking around with ghost forms on the side of them. So you got these specter ass niggas, and then you got these floaters called lost souls. The lost souls are like floating skulls, kinda, but they got evil ass demon faces. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This shit look like something out the exorcist. I'm just saying. So this nigga Doom guy don't fall through the entire Phobos base. I mean, this by himself single handedly has fought through an entire demon army on the base of Phobos. What kind of savage ass nigga? do you have to be bro this nigga is just a more clean version of master chief you cannot tell me they didn't make master chief after this nigga bro there's no way so anyways this nigga fought to a portal to go to deimos now deimos has just poof disappeared at this point and nobody knows where the fuck it is who did a houdini act on deimos i'm just saying so at this point he goes through the portal and he finds out that deimos is really in hell the bar is low for Deimos, nigga. The bar is literally in hell, bro. This nigga went to hell. You know that you're a fucking savage. When you find a portal guarded by two nasty ass demons, you smoke them, and then you find out the portal goes to hell, and you're like, eh, I'm not doing anything. It's a Sunday afternoon. This, like, this nigga just walks right in there. Nigga said, I'm gonna fight my way out of hell and goes from Deimos to hell. Nigga gets through all of this, but finds out that hell has invaded Earth. Them nigga even killed his pet rabbit. What kind of shit is that? And I know y'all are like, Sin, you have to be making this up, right? No, nigga. These niggas smoke the Easter Bunny. Tricks is for kids, ass niggas. Put this fucking rabbit's head on a spike. Bro, why does y'all niggas do my nigga bugs like this? That's all, folks. Like, god damn. Bro, all of humanity is dead. There's only a few left. Now, the few that are left did manage to escape. But this nigga was like, fuck it. I gotta stop this shit and went back to hell. Bro, had to kill the portal from the inside. He couldn't even do it from that side. This nigga said, fuck it. I just gotta traverse through hell again and destroy this portal on my own. Nigga is just walking through hell. This nigga's a savage. Nigga didn't have no sunscreen on either, bro. He just walking through all types of shit. Hey, man. Since you took my phone, I'm gonna go out in the sun with no sunscreen. <laughs> right after he finally destroys his portal, there's some new niggas in the UAC, which is the people that are basically working on this interdimensional space travel. And I guess they didn't learn their lesson the first time when they got smoked, so they were like, eh, let's just do it again. But this time, on Jupiter. Why the fuck did y'all do that? Yo, the UAC are goddamn slow. There ain't no way in the world that these niggas thought that was a good idea. <sighs> Anyways, all hell breaks loose once again, but this time, these dumbass niggas finally start to get the picture they like yo i'm not gonna lie this was a dumb idea whose idea was it and then some guy in the office named timmy probably got blamed and they fired his ass but man they finally realized that this was the dumbest thing in the world that they could have done why did you open up multiple portals like come on bro why are y'all doing this can't tell me this not an inside job at this point but anyways they start making equipment and shut everything down the testing goes very well at first but shit is still breaking out, bro. That shit is not going to stop everything. But once again, my nigga Doom guy said, well, <laughs> guess I got to put my hands on these niggas and started punishing these niggas once again. Once he stops this shit on Jupiter, you're probably thinking, well, Sin, is that it? Is that the end of the video? And I wish that I could say that it was. But no, unfortunately, it's not. Because these dumb ass, stupid ass, you got... These idiot ass niggas decided, hey, you remember when we tried the interdimensional stuff on Mars and then, you know, we opened up a portal to hell by accident? Well, why don't we do it again on Mars? Again. Damn. And this time, the worst demon of them all pops out. The mother demon. And I'm not going to lie, bro. <sighs> I got abandonment issues from my mom. You know, I lost my mom. So when I first learned about this, I was like, damn, well, maybe the mom demon's kind of cool. But that was just my brain playing tricks on me because this bitch is pure evil. It didn't really matter, though, because Doom Guy is literally a demon smoker, bro. Like, I, 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 I don't even know what I'm going to name this video as I'm recording it. But it might have to be Hell Smoker, Demon Smoker, Devil Packer, something, bro. This shit puts them in packs. He... Puts him in that gob with a za. Anyways, after he smokes this bitch, he knew that they'd open up everything again. So he jumped in and closed that shit by him damn self and stayed in there fighting demons. This 
fought demons by himself in there for literal eons, bro. This nigga is different. He jumped in the portal and said, I know these dumbass niggas are gonna do this again. So I'll just close the portal and fight demons forever. Jesus Christ, bro. Our story continues as we find out this nigga is stranded on a place called Sentinel Prime. Now, when I first heard of this, I said, nigga, is this Transformers? Like, what are, what are we doing? Shut up! Demons of hell. Closed. But it's a whole other planet, and it's the home of the Sentinels, and they worship these things called the Wraiths. Now, at the time, I need y'all to pay attention to the fact that they were worshiping something called the Wraiths, because the way that these niggas switched up was literally insane, bro. Like, god damn, like, how are y'all gonna worship one thing? Anyways, let's get back to the to the, to the video at hand. So the priest of thieves are the lead worshipers, bro. These are basically the ancient dick eaters, bro. That's how I can put it in modernized terms. There's also these things called the knights. Now the knights are pretty cool. They're like the protectors of the dick eaters, you know, but the dick eaters are some dick eaters. But anyways, eventually there's these things called the makers that show up. And the makers are like, hey, if y'all work for me, we'll give you order and technology and iPhone 13 Pro Maxes and PS5s and big booty hoes and more big booty hoes and a fifth of Hennessy and a pound of the Za. And these niggas was like, yo, stop. You had me at order. These niggas switched up so quick. Bro, they said F the race and started worshiping the makers. That shit is insane. But anyways, when this happens, they end up going to war with hell. And it's over this energy called the Argent energy, which is like this energy that's created and it's very useful, but also very harmful. It's like, I don't know, fossil fuels, you know, oil, things like that, you know, not to get political, but you know, global warming ass energy, basically. Anyways, back to Doom Guy. So Doom Guy is stranded, but he basically beats niggas up and they end up putting him on the night sentinels because he's nice with the hands. This nigga was bare fisted beating the shit out of people, bro. This is different bro like, like he gets stranded on some planet hawk shit the first thing he does when he wakes up is punishes a bunch of niggas. doom guy and his homies in the night sentinel start smoking a bunch of niggas bro and he ends up meeting this thing called a seraphim and the seraphim gives bro super speed it's like a bunch of power more durability just to fight this demon we find out that this entire time this is the only buff that doom guy has ever gotten this has literally been regular the entire time like <sighs> Anyways, we then find out after this that the Argent energy is basically created from hell slaves, you know, like manual labor, you know, like the stuff that happens in real life all the time. Anyways, the makers have made a deal with the devil to basically use these slaves to create this energy. The Night Sentinels basically got betrayed. And I know what you're thinking. Well, Doom Guy's not going to stand for that. Man, you're right. This nigga spends more eons fighting more demons. This nigga's name is infamous. They start calling this nigga Doom Slayer. They speak of him like a legend. You know what is different when y'all are talking about the nigga smoking you like a legend. Y'all big enough nigga that's beating y'all up. That is the most bitch made shit ever. This nigga made a whole era of demons his bitch. These niggas started talking about Bro, this nigga Doom Slayer, bro. He's killed so many of us. Bro, they talked about Doom Slayer like he was COVID-19. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga was a motherfucking widespread pandemic. This is the Demon Slayer variant. I'm just saying. The demons want bro out of here at this point. So they jump him and they drop shit on him. They basically put this big ass structure over him and it makes him come out of his armor. Now, at this point, a different version of Earth found out how to use Argent Energy. It's really weird. And they also find his sarcophagus and they take it to Mars. Now, at this point, I'm like, what is even happening? This part of the story gets mad confusing, but it is what it is. There's a person named Olivia who is the assistant to this guy named Sam. Now, she's also made a deal with the devil so she can become a god. And I'm like, bro, what is up with everybody betraying my nigga Doom guy? What did he do to y'all? Anyways, they end up creating a way for the demons to get into the Mars base again. But you know, the UAC is really dumb and that's just how that goes. But anyways, now the Mars base at this point is getting anally penetrated once again by the demons. But luckily, my man Doom guy wakes up in time and he puts on that armor that he has. And I ain't gonna lie, bro, Master Chief ain't got shit on my guy. Stop playing with him. So this guy named Hayden talks to Doom Guy. He gives him a whole rundown of everything, bro. Everything on the base. And he says that everybody in this base, except for Olivia, has turned into a demon or got put in a pack. 
But it doesn't even matter because Doom Guy literally smokes everybody, bro. Now we find out that Olivia had been planning on using the Argent energy to try to create a permanent portal to hell. Now, I'm gonna be honest, Olivia. What kind of dumbass shit is you on? Talking about you an assistant. An assistant to who? Not us. Bitch, a devil assistant? Ain't no fucking way. This man out here trying to make permanent portals to hell. What kind of weird shit is you on? And tell me she don't worship Satan, bro. I'm just saying. I just want to say that I'm a huge fan. Doom guy eventually finds this bitch. And I ain't gonna lie, she's mad ugly. Can we take a second to look at her fucked up skin? Like, this bitch look like paper mache. Like, somebody got wet oatmeal and just plastered it on her body. What's wrong with her? Bitch looking like a ghoul from Fallout. I'm just saying. Now, Olivia at this point has created hordes and hordes of demons. And this man, Doom guy, don't fall through all of them as he always does. This is a smoke demon, literally. <laughs> This, uh, I'm just saying. He eventually gets a power from Hayden, and that is to be able to teleport back to Mars at will. Nigga got instant transmission. Stop playing with my nigga, bro. So they find out they need this item called the Crucible to close the portal. This is like this artifact, and it's really powerful. It's a thing that they use to control the source of Argent Energy, the well. Now, I ain't talking about the well from the ring, you feel me? I'm talking about the well of Argent Energy. You know my nigga Doom went through all types of hordes of demons to get to this crucible, bro. This man is basically fighting in the Diablo game. Like, this nigga, he be fighting all types of shit, bro. Stuff just be spawning, he smokes them. Bro be spawn camping, I'm just saying. Now, Pierce is confronted at this point, and she's clearly being used by these niggas, and they turn her into the spider demon. Some of y'all may remember the spider demon from the original games. This is like a remake, a reboot, you know what I'm saying? So, it's the spider demon from the beginning. Like Gwen from Dark Souls. <laughs> Anyways, we smoked this, put this arachnid in a pack. Spider-Man who? <laughs> After this happens, we punch this motherfucker scientist dead in her shit. I mean, we gun butt this Mickey, 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 bro. The way that this Doom guy be punishing shit needs to be put on the first page of the news, bro. I'm just saying, bro. Put this shit on a newspaper or something, a headline. A headline. Doom guy punishes demons. That's all this nigga does is destroy niggas. But we get betrayed, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is kind of up, bro. Like it's kind of messed up, bro, in a lot of different ways because this man Hayden really betrayed us. This nigga Hayden's a bitch. I'ma come all the way clean with y'all, bro. Like this whole time this nigga had been playing us. Nigga teleports us back to Mars and he keeps us restrained and then takes the crucible for himself. After this happened, he teleports us away to some unknown coordinate turned us into Zoro. We don't know where we're going. Shit don't even make any sense, man. And we're on to Doom Eternal. Now, this is kind of similar to Doom 2. I'm not gonna lie. Earth gets invaded by hell in this. Once again, they smoke his rabbit. Once again, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The rabbit don't get brought up, but they did smoke his rabbit. I'm just saying. So y'all remember the makers, right? Them super powerful ass niggas that the Sentinels started dick eating out of nowhere. So there's a leader, the con maker. And he is the one that's leading Hell's invasion on everybody, bro. But right now, it's Earth. This nigga is Shao Kahn, bro. This nigga is trying to take Earth realm. Basically, the makers is basically on some shit where they like, look, man, if you hand us over all the humanity, we're going to give you infinite origin energy. And them niggas was like, <clears throat> excuse me? So all we have to do is sacrifice all of humanity and we'll get infinite energy? And I was just sitting here like, oh, these niggas are some bitches. You already know they about to give up Earth. So at this point, Hayden is in charge of basically protecting Earth. I don't understand this part, though. I'm so confused. Why did he betray us? I still don't get it. And I hope one of y'all explained it to me in the comments because I couldn't figure it out. He did this just to defend Earth. Nick literally used the Crucible to upgrade everything of Earth's defenses. But it's still not enough to stop the invasion. I really don't get it, bro. I'm a Anyways, eventually hell destroys about 60% of humanity. That is insane, bro. There's like 7 billion people here, bro. These niggas knocked out about, what is that? Like, like 4 billion people. Like, Jesus Christ. What's remaining of humanity? These niggas done either left the planet altogether or they're trying to defend what's left of Earth. I'm not gonna lie. I would have hopped on the first ship out of this bitch. I would have been like Wally on some shit. They would have put me on a space drone. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I would have been living in space. Like, what's that one movie, bro? Nah, it ain't even a movie. It's a show. What that shit called, bro? The 100. I would have been like the niggas in 100. I'm just saying. But anyways, my nigga Doom guy has came back from wherever the hell he was at, bro. I don't even know where he was at. 
But he starts punishing these demons, bro. Like, Doom God normally does, bro. I'm just saying. And his first targets are the three priests of Dag from Sentinel Prime. Nigga, fuck these niggas, bro. So ends up killing this nigga Dag Nelox first. This scares the con maker a lot. So he teleports the rest of the priests away from Doom God. Now, I'm not going to lie, bro. That is not going to stop my guy. He's going to find y'all. And he does. He ends up finding Dag Renok first. Smokes him too. Puts him out of his misery. Bro, I'm here to bring the Doom, nigga, literally. But the con maker does not know what to do, bro. He's like, yo, how was this dude out here punishing us like this? So he moves the last priest again. But I ain't gonna lie, the last one was the hottest seat champion of the 2000s. Nigga, this nigga was holding down the 2000s and 99s like bird man. I ain't gonna hold you. So we end up going to Dr. Hayden to try to get some help. But the only thing left to Hayden is his fucking torso. And I mean, look, man, you read what you show. You shouldn't have been no bitch ass nigga and betrayed us. Weird ass robot, I robot looking ass nigga. Uh, 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 what's wrong with this nigga? A Wally looking ass nigga, man. What's wrong with this nigga? A Terminator looking ass nigga, man. A, a Robocop looking ass nigga, man. Uh, what's going on with you? A fake cyborg looking ass nigga, man. Like, like, and I ain't talking about a regular cyborg. I'm talking about Teen Titan cyborg. What the fuck you talking about? All right, anyways, now that I'm done roasting this fake ass metal can opener looking ass nigga, Anyways, he takes the Crucible from Hayden's staff. He knew that Doom God would eventually come back for revenge, so he just kept the Crucible safe. Kind of weird to do, you know, on some weird ass phony shit. Like, what did you portray us for if you were going to defend Earth? I don't understand. <sighs> Anyways, we find out that the last priest is on Sentinel Prime. But the only portal to Sentinel Prime is at the core of Mars. So my man Doom took this big ass weapon called the BFG 10,000 and he shoots a huge hole into Mars to get to the core. What kind of gangster ass shit, bro? This is the GOAT, bro said. Oh, I got to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. How many licks does it take to get to a center of the Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. One, a two. One, nigga, fuck is you talking about? This nigga went straight to the core. Now my man Doom finally finds this last guy on Sentinel Prime and smokes this nigga, bro. Puts him out of his misery. He had to kill his gladiator first, but that didn't even matter. He killed both of them. The con maker was like, I'm not ready for this, nigga, bro. I I'm going to come all the way clean, bro. Ah, we got to stop. This nigga. We also find out that he wants to release the icon of sin to completely consume humanity. Bro, these niggas just keep trying to kill everybody. But anyways, my man Doom still got the crucible, so it doesn't even matter. He ends up using it to power up his fortress that got shut down by the stupid ass con maker. And he returns Argentineer to get his very own Sentinel Crucible. And it seems to be like the, the kind of opposite of the Hell Crucible. It's, it's, it's kind of convoluted, but y'all know what I'm saying. Now, finally, we get the Erdag with the help of Hayden, fake ass cyborg ass nigga. And we're here to find the con maker. We finally do find him though. And we also find the heart of the Icon of Sin and put a fucking hole in it. We shank the shit out of that shit. But this was a problem because it literally awakened this nigga, bro. <sighs> I thought it was going to kill him. Guess we thought wrong. Now, the Icon of Sin teleports to Earth while the Calm Maker is the one confronting us. This is a problem. How we going to be confronting this nigga and then that nigga over there trying to eat Earth? But we smoked this bitch. It don't even matter. So after this, we go back to Earth, bro. And at this point, man, I'm not going to lie, bro. We got to stop this bitch ass Icon of Sin. This nigga Doom guy is a savage, bro. This nigga done went through all types of armies. Somebody needs to stop this nigga. I'm just saying. And once he gets here, he finally puts that bitch ass nigga Icon Sin in a <laughs> pack. Bro, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Doom guy is a savage. His whole life has just been smoking demons, smoking more demons, waking up, going to sleep, waking up, smoking more demons. 